Are you dreaming of palm trees and beaches with a fruity drink in one hand and your laptop in the other? Well, I've got news for you. That lifestyle is totally possible, but it's going to take a bit of work to get there. That's where I can help. I'm Anna, a professional career writer here at Resume.io. And for the past few years, I've been fortunate enough to travel and work around the world. In this video, I'll share my personal insights along with the top things to consider when making the leap to a digital nomad lifestyle. So how can you land that dream job that lets you pay your bills and see the world? My number one tip that will already put you halfway to your goal is to learn a skill that can be done remotely. It could be coding, writing, graphic design, financial management, content creation, consulting. There are so many possibilities here. Think about the skills that you have currently and then look into what you enjoy doing and what comes easiest to you. You should also consider the earning potential of a possible remote job because you don't want to end up in a situation where you don't have the money to enjoy the place you've traveled to. I encourage anyone who wants to make the leap to remote work to really spend some time brainstorming this and even writing down the pros and cons of each skill you might want to learn. Once you've settled on one, you might need to keep your current job for a while while you take classes or make connections in your new field. The second thing to consider is what travel and work actually means to you. Do you envision total freedom to hop between countries and live the digital nomad lifestyle in the truest sense? Or maybe you still want a salaried position with an office that you can come back to every few weeks. Has it always been your dream to move to a particular country and open your own business there? These are all things to consider, not only for yourself, but also for legal purposes. Several countries offer digital nomad visas to those who want to live and work remotely there. But each of these countries has different rules about who can apply and the type of work they can do there. So you need to make sure you qualify. You'll also have to consider taxes. It's not glamorous, but it matters. Americans, for example, have to file taxes based on worldwide income, even if they live abroad. Other countries go off of residency. Before you officially make the move, I would highly recommend speaking with an advisor in your home country and the place where you plan to live to make sure that there's no red tape that's going to make things more complicated for you once you go abroad. And now, on a more personal note, here are a few things that I've learned over the past five years of working and traveling full-time. The first is that careers are truly built, and building takes time. When I started writing and working in video production, I needed a second job to support myself while I got established. I looked for flexible opportunities that would allow me to travel and make a name for myself in the field I wanted to work in. That beginning phase is the most difficult, so give yourself a year or two to make the transition. During this time, I also relied on mentors and other connections for advice and support. And the second piece of advice that I can give from personal experience is that sometimes it's just better to let work be work and vacation be vacation. It sounds great to work and travel until you find yourself taking calls at 11 o'clock at night because your team is in another time zone. That might happen every once in a while, but I still try to set a schedule of working hours and free time. I'll be making an entire video with my tips for managing your work-life balance, so if that's something you struggle with, you might want to check that out. The last tip I want to offer is some of my favorite resources. Sometimes the biggest obstacle to taking the leap to remote work is our own fears about the future. These are some of my favorite books and podcasts to help you with getting in the right mindset before making a big change. There's so much to learn from people who have been there before, so I encourage you to read or listen to some of these while you contemplate your next steps. I hope that these tips have been helpful for you as you prepare to live and work remotely. It's been one of the best decisions that I've made personally, and I hope it will be the same for you. Let me know in the comments what your ideal travel work situation looks like and if there are any digital nomad tips that I missed. And make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest career advice.